Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Residents of Mantewariso in the Doma Central Municipality of the Bono region would soon heave a sigh of relief as government is putting up a community-based health and planning services facility to cater for their health needs. Mante Wariso is a consortium of several cocoa growing communities with little access to social amenities. Living in this part of the Doma Central Municipality is extremely not easy because Mante Wariso is one of the hinterland communities with difficult access. Health care, which is one of the basic necessities of life, is difficult to access because health facilities are non-existent. The nearest health facility is at Abuabo No. 2, about some 15 kilometers away. Poor roads coupled with non-availability of transport deter residents from seeking care at the Abuabo Health Center. But government through the Ministry of Health has intervened. A contract was awarded to Edward Asari Company Limited and work is ongoing. The building is at the roofing stage and had some door and window frames fixed. Residents are hopeful completion of the facility would ease their challenges. District Chief Executive of Doma Central, Drisa Watara, said the CHIPS compound is one of four projects being executed. The Ministry of Health is also at Mantiwariso, and that's the only chess compound that we have in the municipality. We have about four of such projects. Of course, my MP, Honorable Kokwaji Maimanu, um, work hard to bring us those projects. So they are ongoing. Um, I know they are about between 70 to 80 percent complete. This is not the only problem facing the adjoining communities. School is also not available. We are told most children of school going age are engaged in farming activities because they cannot cover the long distance. Only the daring pupils from Mantewari so trek 30 kilometers to and back from school daily on the scorching sun. Those without proper footwear suffer the most. Poverty has also been a setback of education in the area. To improve education and health care in Mantewari so and its environs, stakeholders must show commitment to the cause. That remain in the Bono region where pupils and teachers of the Kofibo Krom DA Primary School in the Doma East District are sheltered in makeshift structures. Furniture is also in short supply. Kofibua Krum and three other adjoining communities are some few hinterland communities with increased population. The community is fortunate to have been provided with a school and has increased enrollment due to the availability of the school feeding program. Makeshift structures accommodate a chunk of the classes. This was after the building accommodating them collapsed. The Doma East District Assembly intervened to put up a three-unit classroom block to partly reduce the pressure on the school, but the project stalled after being roofed. Teachers were then compelled to use the facility owing to inadequate space. Appeals to the Assembly to complete the project are yet to yield results. The revenue that the district receives is such that there is no way we can complete everything overnight. The, uh, what we're trying to do is to try to increase the rate at which uh, we put up these structures. So there is one particular area of our budget that we pay so much attention to, and that is the self-help budget line. Furniture is another worry. Pupils provide their own chairs and tables to aid academic work. Those who cannot afford a table improvise. District Chief Executive for Doma East, Emmanuel Ajuman, admitted the issue of furniture is a widespread challenge in the district, but the Assembly is positioning itself to intervene. Furniture is quite um, challenging. Do uh, government recently brought us some desk, but uh, it was way, way, way below uh, the, the quantity that we needed. Assembly is making that effort, um, but. Um, the budget line is not so huge, 
Um, what we have been doing is trying to do so much with something little. That is the effort we've been making. Our idea is that if we are able to get timber free of charge, then with the same amount of money, we should be able to do more of the furniture rather than giving it on contract and the person will have to go and buy wood and buy almost everything before he does it. Education in the area would require stakeholders' commitment to improve. And as that's for mission, mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.